I recently uploaded a video about the RPM app for iPhones and its really cool database feature. My critical friend John was very quick to question the accuracy of the app and its results. And I have a strobe on my turntable, it's always told me the speed was spot on, so I was starting to question the results as well. We can actually test this out quite simply. We know that the RPM of an album should be 33 and a third. That means in one minute, it should spin 33.3333 times. In two minutes, it should spin 66.66666 times. In three minutes, it should spin 99.9999999 times, which is indistinguishable from spinning 100 times. Because the app told me my, that my turntable was 0.34% off, it should spin 100 times in 180 seconds, 0.6. So we're going to actually time this out and see if it spins 100 times in 180.6 or 180. So let's time it out. 1, 2. Remember, we have to do it 100 times, so we'll speed it up for you. Ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven. 98, 99, and 100. Wow, look at that. The number two is changing to a number three. That is how accurate my turntable is. Unfortunately, John is correct and the app is not accurate. The app does allow us to auto calibrate the gyroscope, so we'll turn that on. And it also needs us to spin it around 100 times. It requires a little bit of stabilization first. And one rotation. Two, three, four, five. And we will also speed this up for you. Ninety-eight, ninety-nine, one hundred. Calibration's complete. The gyroscope multiplier needed was calculated to be 1.0049. That's great. So let's try it again. Um, and hopefully we get an accurate reading of 33.33. And we did not get it. We got 33.40, which is off plus 20%, or not 20%, 0.2%. And we cannot upload so even if the calibration had worked, we are unable to upload calibrated data to the database. However, calibrated or uncalibrated, we are not getting accurate results from this app. And as cool as I think the database feature is, the data that's up there is not to be trusted. I hope this helps you out on your journey.